Hey everybody, Sandy Hodgkins here from West Meadow Farm in Bradford, New Hampshire. In addition to the wonderful horsemen that are coming to the farm this year, I wanted to share with you some other events that will be happening. So one of the events is a four part mini clinic series. And these are gonna be happening once a month, starting in April. And you can sign up for them on Saturday or Sunday, or you can do both days. So in this mini clinic series, I'm gonna be giving you some exercises or tasks to complete. And together we're gonna to figure out what your horse needs in order to complete that task. Um, it could be that they need more time to think about what you'd like them to do. It could be that they need you to set stronger boundaries, or it could be that they need you to have better feel and timing. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be picking one task that, and it's gonna be videoed. Each person will have it videoed. And then during lunch, we're gonna watch those videos. And sometimes it's easier if we see what we're doing because sometimes we just don't think we're doing what we're actually doing. And then after lunch, we're gonna go back out and try that same exercise or task again. Also, in these mini clinics, we're going to go over how to ask your horse for a soft feel. Now, this is different than lightness. A soft feel is something that happens in the whole horse's body, and only your horse can give this to you. You cannot make it happen. We're going to apply this soft feel in a bunch of different ways. So, for example, if you have issues with your horse pinning their ears at another horse, you might ask them for a soft veal. So you're gonna ask them to do something to kind of keep their mind on you and not the other horse. Another thing that we're gonna be doing is teaching Glenn Stewart stage program. So in these clinics, you're gonna learn the seven patterns that horses play with, enough, with each other and create a language to be able to communicate to your horse. So we're gonna be teaching your horses things on the ground that you would like him to be able to understand for when you're on his back. And this is the best place to start learning how to have good feel and timing. So mounting is part of stage one and also doing some lateral uh, flexing or lateral bends. And we're gonna break down the steps so that you close one finger at a time, giving your horse a chance to feel your request. In stage two, we're gonna start riding with one rein and a horseman stick. This teaches you how to have an independent seat. We start this in the round pen and then you get to do it out in an open arena. Trailer loading is also part of stage two. Can your horse willingly and confidently go in and stay in the trailer? And of course, in all these clinics, we add fun games to test your feel, timing, and balance, the skills necessary to become a horseman. And there's also a certificate when you complete a stage. Now, another one we're gonna be doing is our very popular um, riding in groups and open spaces clinics. These clinics are a fantastic way to help horses with issues when riding in larger groups. And one of the goals in this clinic is to be able to ride up to Lookout Mountain and you can get your picture on our wall. And the last clinic that we're gonna be doing are these cow clinics and they are by far my favorite clinics. Horses love having a job. Our clinics are slow and work on building your horse's confidence and also being able to control the cattle in a way where they feel good about themselves. We have fun tasks like, can you get your calf to stop in a hoop? Can you work together to get a calf to cross an obstacle? Or can you get a calf into one pen? So as you can see, we have lots of fun learning opportunities here at the farm this year. I welcome you to join us anytime to advance your horsemanship. Your horse will thank you.